hello and welcome in this video i will talk about a scenario called vendor and customer transactions netting and how it can be done in microsoft dynamics system of finance and operations so before we deep dive into microsoft dynamics system of finance and operations i would like to articulate and make you understand what is this vendor and customer transactions netting assume there is a company called infrastructure company or assume any other company and that company deals with tata group and for that company tata group is a vendor that has balance of 100 and tata group and i mean the infrastructure company sell their product or services to tata group as a customer as well so tata group is their vendor and one of the tata group segment is their customer as well and this customer balance is 500 so as a company as a tata group they may ask that they will not pay 500 as balance to infrastructure company because they also have a balance in their vendor which is 100 so what they ask for they want to net this balance and keep the balance as 400 so then this netting concept comes into the picture and after this netting the balance become 400 that means tata group now only liable to pay as a customer is 400 so this is all about the netting concept in business or business processes now we will see how this can be done in microsoft dynamics is to have finance and operations i mean microsoft dynamics is to have finance and operations and i mean feature management this functionality is a brand new functionality which is released in 1038 version and it is preview stage which means if you want to avail this functionality you need to upgrade the version to 1038 and above so i have enabled this one now let's see what we have in this functionality so this functionality when you enable this from the feature management then system has enabled this netting under payment section under this netting we have netting agreement and we have customer and vendor balance netting the same thing is available in account receivable as well so if i go to account receivable payments and under payment netting netting agreement and same thing both are same so what we will do we will use this functionality from the accounts payable but the same thing is available in account receivable as well so we'll go to netting agreement so netting agreement where we create the agreement means we set up the customer and vendor so that system understand okay this is the vendor and this is the corresponding customer so i have created this and when 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 so we, when we create it first time then we need to create a given name and description and journal name for this journal name microsoft has released a new journal type which is customer and vendor netting okay then it will be available here and account account is a very good concept which microsoft has released in this functionality uh, to make you understand i have created a slide in our ppt which is say suppose we are netting a customer balance and a vendor balance so what entry system will pass system will pass a customer account and at the same time in vendor side vendor account vendor account so say suppose if system is passing the customer or system is balancing or netting the customer side balance then system will pass a entry called customer account credit or debit as per the scenario and at the same time system will pass a con accounting entry which is control account as a concept so you can set up a control account here and the control account will come into this picture in this entry so if i if we talk about a customer side balancing the entry will be customer account credit and control account debit 400 as an example and if you talk about vendor side netting system will pass an entry for vendor as debit and control as credit so at the same time customer account and vendor account getting nullified and balancing and on the opposite side control account is coming to the picture it is helping to create the entry at the same time it is also becoming zero for two side of entry so this is call uh, this this concept is here and microsoft has given as account so here preferably preferably you can use a control account so i have created a control and added here and after that you have 
parties under parties you can create man multiple lines okay so for there uh, for this example for this demo i have created one line and i have added my customer and vendor respectively so once it is done you need to click on this activate agreement i have activated that's why it is disabled at the same time if you in future if you want okay i will not use it or will not use it you can deactivate it i will come into this meeting overview later on so this is a setup one time setup you can add multiple lines for different customer and vendor so once this is done you have another option as i mentioned customer and vendor balance netting here you will see all the you know setup agreement vendor and customer balances here i have created only one agreement with only one vendor and customer that's why it is showing and this customer account has balance in the open invoice which is 500 at the same time uh, the vendor account having balance of 100 same thing which we have given here vendor balance is 100 and customer balance is 500 so company is asking to net this so sist i have have not done anything system is already giving this as part of as part of the already available netting which can be net okay so once i'm here from here only i can click on create netting and if i go to the create netting i would like to explain that this open customer vendor bal invoice balance and open customer invoice balance vendor invoice balance it is not one transaction it is the accumulated transaction under this balance it can be multiple invoices which is open and under this also there can be multiple invoice it can be open and it is showing the balance okay and here i can click on net create netting once i click on create netting i will see the transactions which are open for this customer and the transaction which are open for the vendor invoice i can select multiple i can deselect and select and i can you know choose whatever i want to choose as part of our netting so as an example i have two invoices open for this vendor which is as a one transaction the uh, transaction value is 1 and another is 499 sorry it is customer and for vendor it is i only have only one transaction so what i will do i will just net this with this 500 as a total and 100 as a vendor balance so ultimately this customer balance will become as 400 So what I will do? I will select or mark all, and then mark selected. Here also I will select mark selected. And once I am done, I need to select a netting posting date. And which date the netting will happen? So suppose today's day is fifth of December. Another option we have is print netting netting advice. So once we have, once we have netted this, once we have done this netting, you can print this and send it to your customer. or vendor whatever it is so once i have selected everything i will just check the total customer netting total 100 customer balance after netting which is it is showing as foreign currency customer vendor netting as 100 so netting is happening 100 but i am selecting transactions 500 because i need to net this from the 500 transactions my value transactions i will select post Let's wait. So I can, so this has been posted. I can print this. So see, this printing netting advice is a new SSRS fung report which Microsoft has developed along along with this functionality. So in any day, if customer or vendor wants. to see the advice one well, uh, with which transaction this net netting has happened you can share this or organization can share this with the customer so netting advice this showing customer account vendor account and it will also detail out which are the transaction it has been net when a transaction i have used this and a customer transaction i have used this and netting amount is 100 netting currency is inr This is also a good a new brand new SSRS report which Microsoft has developed and given as part of this functionality. So I have completed this netting. So now what I will see if I refresh this, 
now it will show me the balance but if you see the open vendor balance invoice is now zero and the open customer invoice balance is 400 exactly what we have tried to see in this ppt which is after netting the balance will become zero sorry uh, the balance will become 400 had it been 500 and 500 both it would have been zero balance but now the customer balance was 500 and it has been decreased to 400 we also have an option called netting history it will show us the past data for all the netting so i have tested this previously i have this example where in previously i used this netting with this vendor and customer and what was the transactions it is showing all the netting history from this view i can click on open details i can click on print netting advice everything and the very good part which microsoft has given that any time if someone says the netting they need to reverse it they can always click on this reverse netting it is exactly same like reverse transaction functionality so it will become it will it will it will become open transactions okay so this is our netting if i select you know <coughs> reverse netting it will be reversed and it will become the exactly same balance but i which it was previously okay now what i will do i will go to accounts payable maybe or maybe when uh, uh, customer as well i can go so what i want to see that how the transaction has been posted so it was a data vendor if i want to see the transactions i just want to see the accounting entry so let's see 100 voucher and if you see the control account has been posted exactly same thing which we have expected so 100 as a debit uh, if i go to this 100 vendor balance 100 as a debit and this control account has come into the picture as a credit and if i go to this customer if i see the transaction for the customer because it has not been fully settled here <clears throat> so see this is the 499 and balance is 400 if i check this close transaction maybe i will i will see the settlement history yeah this 100 has been posted and if i click on the voucher i will see the accounting entry which is control as a debit and account receivable when uh, customer as a credit exactly same thing which we have expected and we have explained so this is all about the netting functionality as of now there were there has no that has not been any netting functionality and user always need to create dummy payment if they want it and then they need to post it so now this has been another automation or, or uh, you know, privilege Microsoft has developed and deployed. It will be available from 1038 version. So that's it for this video. I'm sure it will help you in future. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.